Like they didn't want to get up. It's a blessing. Amen. And I heard part of Betty's prayer. Gifts in the church. Amen. Gifts in the church. Uh, you're right. That 50 year love affair. Amen. And it's good to listen. Tonight we're going to keep going with the. Uh, the other witnesses are going to bypass the house, just from here on out, make sure they can leave you alone. Uh, Zion, Zion, Zion is the seventh letter of the what? Hebrew alphabet, okay? And so that letter, Ariel, is a part of different words. It's part of the word for, for time. Zion is symbol of the sword, so it cuts time in the days and weeks. And then also, write this down, um, it is also the first letter in the word for remember. Remember, Zachar. People get in trouble with God when they forget. Amen. When they fail to remember what he's done for them. And you're emotional. Part of, part of Satan's uh, scheme is to cause your emotions to make you forget or not remember the miracle that you are. Amen. And not to remember. So you need to remember that word is Zachar. Z-A-C-H-E-R. Remember. Z, Z. I'll help y'all when I get my jackets. My jackets designed with a big giant Z. Just, just try to keep up, all right. Anyway, is that the, and then the other word is remembrance, which is Zikaron, Z-I-C-H-A-R-O-N. Zikaron. Remember, and then you're going to learn something um, very heavy. I think last week, didn't we all set our clock at midnight? And give them praise God? Like, I didn't know it, but we were on something. Okay? Something very profound. Uh, so, not only would the Jehovah Witness leave you alone, but some other people leave you alone too. If you listen. Amen. But most people just go to church, they don't say. Why is it important that the Zion causes you to remember and have remembrance because write this down the memory of the righteous is a blessing your memory will pull you out of a funk out of the dark amen just to say you can push you over that edge you're like oh no I'm, I remember what God did for me amen and did it I never really amen uh, never should he have done it, but I remember when he did it, when I wasn't even qualified for the blessing. Amen. Remember, there's going to be a day. You're in Africa. Ain't no Tuesday night. Ain't no Wednesday night. And spirits. Spirits. God said it keep you sharp. Spirits like, is she there yet? She here yet? This ain't no game, okay? Is she here yet? You can't make a long distance call because you're like, like Rocky in China. He's talking to me up there either. He, he's supposed to be asleep. So you're going to have to pull yourself up. That's my point. Pull yourself up. Anybody who has any longevity in church, didn't nobody text you or call you all the time. You had to make up your mind you was going to be here. Right, make up in your mind this is what you want out of your life. All right? Other than that, it's just a matter of time. It's old book Benton song. So the memory of the righteous is a blessing. Okay? And the blessing, Queenie, is another Hebrew word to get people off your porch. Is the night vigils. The Hebrew word, Ashmur Leila. I like saying that. Give me a little hoodie with me. Ashmur Leila on the back. Just. Please. 
They come on, won't he do it? And I'll be like, hey, shmur later. Not in that conversation. All right? Hey, shmur Layla means the night vigils. And those of you who have been sick before, you know it even well. Satan messes with you at night, don't you? Ah, uh, we're going to get deep in this. There's a reason for that. Because by the, get ahead, by the scripture, without you starting another organization, you could probably come up with a theory that when the Lord comes, he's coming at night. Okay, but now, don't, don't you know, but because the night was broken down into four series. You know, ready for me? You get heavy. Four periods, rather. Four three hour periods. So we tapped into something. I don't know. We didn't know what we were doing. We don't know tonight. Okay? We, we tapped into the end of one watch and the beginning of another watch. Right. Okay? So uh, the Romans broke nighttime into four periods of three hours each. Okay? I was only deep. Four, you must have studied some of this. Four periods of three hours each. It used to be uh, the Jews said they were three periods of four hours. The Romans, when you go to the book of St. Mark, he made uh, there's one statement in there that covers all four watches. I look like y'all want to be deep tonight. Alright. Come out there waiting who? Okay. Now, I'm going to get ahead of myself, but I'm going to give you the, 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 the name of the four watches and the period of time. Okay. And then I'll show you a psalm where somebody, to me, must have been in trouble because they got up at the beginning of each watch and praised God. All right. Because sometimes Satan's going to keep messing with you. Amen. Huh? And, 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 and those who've been sick before, you know that it seems like it's worse at night. Uh, you ever heard doctors say, well, if they can make it through the night. Right. Amen. So there's something to this. All right. There's something to it. Nighttime. Right. Uh, here's a story for you. Not me. Uh, my mother was born with a hole in her heart. And uh, my grandmother said that back then they would call the priest or whatever in the hospital and put curtains around, you know, around them and everything. And said that when they got there in the morning, my mother was sitting up playing. All right. She made it through the night that I had to be your pastor. All right? Huh? She got a hole in her heart. Amen. So she was targeted because of what was going to come out of her womb. That's hard to even imagine. Okay? Uh, so here are the four, four watches. The, vigil. the first one is, is either called even or evening. You see, even is evening. And that's from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So we're having this class in the evening. Right. Of the first watch. Okay? Everybody have that? Even or evening. And I'll give you a scripture, but we're going to break this down. And, amen. What now? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I talked too fast. That's miracle. Excellent question, Dr. Dunn. A-S-M-U-R-O-T. And then Layla. L-A-Y-L-A-H. That's Murrah. A S M U R O T. Oh, I'm gonna get a hoodie with that up. Ashmura Layla. L A Y L A H. Night vigils. Night vigils. Uh, when I was in Brandon, when I had my place in Montreal, and Satan would fight my mind, especially because I had this window. I was on the 18th floor overlooking the St. Lawrence River, but I had this window where if you open the screen after that, it was just an open window. You didn't see that was dark. Your life is on. It's just crazy stuff. Okay? This is crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, you're in another country with a condo and Satan messing with you. Oh, uh, yeah? He traveled. He got a passport. Y'all ain't heard? So you ain't got a passport. Well, he, he messed with you right there on Spread Street, right? Okay. Well, he messed with you on Spread. He also gets to Montreal. 
right? And so what I would do, and, and what, what would happen to me, he would, he, would, he would lay out all the things that God didn't do for me. Okay? All the things he didn't do, and he did this and that, and, 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 and a lot of times God will promise you stuff, but you don't want to do the process, right? So you think about the promises, but not the process. So what I would do, not studying this, I said, you gonna mess with me? I had this, this, matter of fact, it's the same CD. No, it wasn't Jim Murphy. The one I played before, Kirk Whalen, Hymns in the Garden. I would play that all night on repeat. And I would literally have picnics in my living room, have me a sandwich, a picnic, and I would sit there and wait for the sun to rise. Because if I see the sun in the morning, I'm gonna be okay. Okay, I would have picnics on the floor. Why the music? Because Satan would have to come through the music to mess with me. If it was trap music, ain't nothing I'd be. I'd have some pepper mint knops or something just been messed up. Right? But it was spiritual music because I had to have night visuals to make them. Am I making sense? All right, y'all don't have dark days? All right. Oh, come on now. Man, man. I literally would be have a picnic. I would spend the night at this big sofa. Paid a fortune, but five thousand dollars so. And then I had to leave it there because the sun, I had no curtains, I don't want to curtain. The sun discolored it. It's bad. It's like a nice, crazy. And it was on sale at five stacks. I would leave it. Anyway, I would spend the night on there. Alright? With my sandwich and stuff with my night dinner, crying out to God, getting my head right. Okay? It's been a war, people. I'm going to be honest with you. Yes. Okay. Uh, so what, what we're doing right now is from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's called the even or the evening. So you can be smart. I come and say, you going to Bible class? Where's the Bible class? Oh, it's the first watch. <laughs> you sound, you, even though you sleep and daydream doing it, it doesn't, <laughs> you sound like you're paying attention. Okay? Everybody have the even evening. Yes. 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Yes. Okay? Remember how I used to teach you that, that, that every hour an angel takes over? Right. Okay? Right. right. So can you imagine that in this one watch, okay, so the seven, six o'clock angel had to give you over to the seven o'clock angel, amen, who will give you over to the eight o'clock angel and to the nine o'clock, somebody thank God, amen, giving watch over you. So when I was on the highway, amen, and the beard, because I just talked to May Lee, it's like 10 o'clock, Amen. I was already in the second. I was already in the midnight yeah. watch. But right. thank God the angel, amen, yeah. uh, was on the highway with me yeah. and scooped the deer up, Woo! amen. Yeah. Because the deer didn't want me to come through the midnight watch, amen. Right. But I did. I think I have no other explanation. <laughs> that it was supernatural. That's right. That's it. There's no other explanation. That's when I see the face on the left hand side, I should at least hit all the weights in the button hit. I should at least ran into the back of him. Right. Or he could have came, you know, or his back end could have been flipped up and went through my windshield. And I'm driving a convertible Mercedes, which wouldn't no matter what I had with all that weight, but, but a Mercedes is it's not structurally sound like a you know regular car. But not my angel said no. Supernatural faith. When he when he was galloping, my angel, I looked up, amen. I, the angel saw the deal for I did. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Pick it up now. Yes, sir. You're not gonna kill him in the midnight hour. Who am I helping you? You ain't gonna kill him. You ain't gonna kill him. Yes. Can you imagine what my image would have did with that? Yes. Oh, man. Mm -mm. He got against him getting a Mercedes. It wouldn't matter what I had, I had a Honda. It wouldn't matter. No. Amen. But it didn't happen. No. 
So that's the second watch, the midnight. That watch is from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. The midnight watch. The midnight watch. Get at chapter 16, verse 25. Uh, midnight watch. This is good stuff. Huh? Oh, because the memory of a righteous is a blessing. In the book of Acts. And at midnight. See, I got, I got a young couple here. They go, no. but, but when we, the enemy, tries to blow up their love up from there, thank God you have a nerdy wife who like, uh oh, uh -oh. I know what we're going to do. We're going to set our clock. We're going to set our clock. He going to mess with us. Bishop told us it was coming. We're going to mess with him back. Amen. See, you can write it down in your notes, but application is everything. Yes. Amen. You can't have somebody with, like, you know, no tell them all hell break through. This stuff happens in life. And you like, remember, we don't know what to do. No, uh, that don't work. Uh-uh, leave me alone. Well, now you now you out there. Okay? You don't you don't you don't marry somebody for where you are right now. You marry them for what you're gonna go through in the future. Amen. All right. Amen. No, you can't say amen. I'm moving on. Uh Acts chapter 16. And at midnight. Oh, you already dumped the scripture. See, but look, look at a little. Can we get a little back up? Crazy? I thought you said 1625. I know, I know, but I'm gonna give a little back, a little background. Okay. I'm sorry. See, they got they had to go get you. All right, listen. Peter verse 16. 16. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us which brought the masters much gain by soothsaying See, that's about as old as it can be yes all right the so as old, old as it can be read the same followed paul and us and cried saying these men are the servants of the most high god but show unto us the way of salvation. Now, 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 now see, if you don't read that right, you're like, see, ain't nothing wrong with her. Hmm, yes, sir. Ain't nothing wrong with her. What happened in the next verse? Why she get rebuked? I know the story. Mm-hmm. See, see, I see you were talking a, a bunch of God talk, right? Right. Thank some of y'all got hooked by some God talk. Yeah. It was the lure you in. Right. That's why I had a man. I had a man. God told me to say, ooh, man, you got to stay away from me. Just make sure there's a lot of distance between me and you. <laughs> you say, I might flare up. Right. Hey, man. Right. I had to meet these people. I don't want to meet them. Every day I would tell God, hey, man, like, why I meet these people? Not to repent, because they were all part of a process. Like, why I meet these people? Why, God, these people, I wish I'd never seen them in my life. Some of the stuff I teach y'all, man, it's just, if you cut me open, man, it's just in it, it's the stuff I had to experience. So you don't get caught up in some mess. Amen. Mm -hmm. You don't find out if you don't know, God said, God ain't even talking to them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes they want control over your life. Right. Ooh, uh, right. Teach. Teach that. Yeah. I just, funny, it's a person on Facebook. I'm gonna break. I'm just gonna do breaking. Anyway, it was they were on Facebook posing with their kids. It was pretty picture, my picture. But there was some kids missing. They bragging about the kids they had with him and not his four or five other kids. Yeah. Oh. I ain't never seen a picture of her with his his other kids. Right. And uh, the only reason why you had those two kids and married that person. Because the person in this church, back then, didn't want y'all to get married. <laughs> and I intercepted, back to back, amen, and she didn't want y'all to get married. Because she said, uh, I'm a grown woman, and this man got four, five kids, amen, that'd be too much for me. Ain't no way in the world this teenager can handle it. And I got her out the way. Huh? It's none of her business. Amen. You know, pastor, part-time job, open. Amen. And, 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 and churches are full of them. Mm -hmm. That's what me and Pastor Louis talk about. All these people had all these people interfering 
God said it and, and man, I say now Patrick mess. Hey man, some old hook em up mess. Uh, which is not in no uh, book in parables. Right. You gotta have a pastor, you gotta have a man of God, a woman of God, discernment. Amen. That's half the reason why, amen, I have this great woman teaching some young wives so no outsider break your home up. That's right. With some nonsense. Or tell you to stay in some nonsense that you should get out of. It go both ways. Yeah. He beat me. Well, man, he quit beat me. Yeah, he quit beat me when he lost his arm. <laughs> yeah. All right. I love that old stuff. So now I want to be in church. You can be your edges is all dead. You're, you're nothing to grow because you're supposed to come in and beat you because the person trying to counsel you got beat for 10 years and didn't have no sense to go. Huh? If you think about hitting me, put on some Al Green. <laughs> oh, you ain't mad. Okay. Let's say goodbye. Look, you hear me playing Al Green? Uh-huh. You see I'm in the kitchen? <laughs> I got the stove on. Got the green. That's what you even act like. Huh? <laughs> got the green. Boy. Ain't gonna be no how can you mend a broken heart and how you gonna reach your back to look the way it used to look. <laughs> <laughs> your heart will be the least of your problems. You that ain't the mama grit. <laughs> how you gonna get that grit off your back? <laughs> now see somebody through the podcast, I'm talking about Bible. Back to my back to the Bible. Well, I got so agree. I got so. And this she did many no, days. No, I ain't done. You gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna mess up good looking naughty with something you don't want. Hey, what have you thought about brother Sons? Yeah, he ugly. I thought about never being with him. <laughs> But he a saved brother. Uh, salvation and, and ugliness, amen, that don't make him key. <laughs> I got a doctorate in that stuff. Crazy stuff. Huh? Pick your own trouble. Huh. Amen. I'm good, ain't I wrong? I'm like, <laughs> that boy bad. <laughs> that boy bad. <laughs> you a nice guy. See you mess with somebody's life. You don't mess with their life, he buckled it on a big block of cool if he can be. You get to mess with folks' lives. I don't know your name, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to kill what's on you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. That woman called me and said, I love Kareem. Uh, what's the good news? Are you about to have another son? I uh, thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, I love Kareem. So now little RJ get to slam somebody. <laughs> Amen. Okay? Would you let nobody, if I'm done, let nobody hook you up with nothing. They might be saved, but they're not fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody don't fuck nobody with no boot and shoe. Okay. Huh? You argue them all the time. Can you get your other boot on? Nah, I like this boot and shoe. <laughs> Amen. That's the beauty of y'all. Y'all just as happy. She just as happy. They have like old hands coming down. They was elbowing each other and stuff. Y'all hold your hands. I heard he picked you up and put you to sleep. Amen. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. God sent him to the church for her. Amen. Hey, That's right. Hey, hey. That's right. Should have heard somebody his age. Why do you want that? That's right. Don't, don't, don't give me say amen because I just go off on it. <laughs> we'll go into another watch when we talk about this. Amen. Uh, 
He kept himself. He wants something to count. Amen. That's his business. So who can go with somebody hanging on? He got to hang on to the bed for help, Mr. Wizard. Dark. Then you heard that over and over. You still get, you still blush. You got three kids. You still blush. Quick blush. You about to fall in. <laughs> Me and your mama gonna go on the road. Hey man, he got what he want. Hey, and, and you know what? I love? Didn't didn't mess with nobody. I think the one that wrote him a note, I think she left the church. Yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna write a note. Ain't been right. Note on the windshield. Ain't been right since. Huh? And then between beating your drum and write notes. <laughs> 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 Remember Diane? Remember Diane? Diane? Remember that? Remember that kid? All RB did was say, I love you. You got that strong hand. Say, Take my hand and don't let me go. Oh, dang. <laughs> you got a grip. I can Yeah. yeah. Out of power. Out of power. <laughs> that power design. <laughs> Okay, okay, we done that. Thank you. All right. Look, right. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be one or you want to? Oh, don't. He who he he with who he wanted. That's right. Amen. <laughs> hey, Glenda, I can tell them some horror stories, can I? Forget Halloween. Just let me sit here and talk to you one night. <laughs> you be like you. To the point, now nah, they're so horrific, you think I'm making them up. Am, am I right, Michelle? And some, and some people <laughs> have tried to be saved over it and can't. But some, somebody busting hell wide open. God told me. Mm. Yeah, that's why I tell pastors. Don't be afraid to straighten out some mess. I don't care what church calls the street. I think I met them one time. They're good people. Peace is deuces. Right? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't do nobody's take breaks on what people are going to say. <laughs> You're in a mess. Come down my place. I'm going to help. You can tell the truth. But that kind of mess, feel people trying to live. Horror stories. No. Horror stories. People mismatched natures. People can't even stand with each other in the eye. Different temperaments. There's a whole lot to it. Temperaments. Expectation. The whole lot. Amen. Uh, and, and, and here's the, the beauty of it when it's right. People that love each other, they can, you can, that person can have faults to get on their nerves. They're like, you know what, that's just the way they are. And you're still crazy about it. Why? Because. But can you imagine when you see faults and you don't even want them? Yeah. Big magnifying glass. This practice showing all these stuff like, you gotta be kidding, man. I'm about one time I said, man, deal with it. He said, what do I do? I said, no, hey, it ain't going nowhere. Just deal with it. Okay? Y'all just thank God for 2216 military. Amen. You should. Right. Anyway, uh, so this lady was talking good in verse 17, but verse 18, Paul got tired of her. She grieved him. Verse 18. And this did she many days. 
But Paul, being grieved, <laughs> turned and said to the Spirit, he said, help. No, he said, help. What did he say? I command thee in the name of Jesus he Christ. He said, help, but didn't nobody know how to write it in, in that language. <laughs> I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Okay? And she was talking good, but it was a spirit talking good. Mm hmm. All right. Look at verse 19. Because she was a part of she was part of a scheme. Read. And when her masters saw that the hope of their gains was gone. It was pimping her. Read. They Jimmy Epstein before he showed up. Read. They caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrate, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city. Because Paul and Silas broke up their hustle. Right. So true men of God and women of God always break up something that's wrong. Amen. They don't sign off on it. That's they it. bust it up. All right. Okay. Keep that in the back of your head. Read. And teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Roman. Now did any of that happen? No. Put this in your back of your head. Men of God and women of God are always lied on. Yep. After they break up something that Satan has made. That's right. Something that Satan has allowed to gain momentum. And they break it up. Okay. Three. And the multitude rose up together against them. Did it say multitude? Yes. So Nani in her is going to have a whole lot of enemies. Amen. And she's going to be a woman of God. A lot of voodoo and after everything else. And, 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 and they're clipping girls so that they can't enjoy relay all kind of stuff. You're going to just, amen. Look at the one look, the, the nun. When uh, both men in Nigeria, what they, Boca, whatever their name is, uh, thugs. Kidnapped all those girls. She right. went to the jungle. They put on 60 minutes. She went to the jungle. Right. Amen. You say she captured whatever she was, she was annoying. She went to the jungle. She wasn't she scared. Was the right. Amen. And went and asked that man. That man got man, man. And a mess eight wide. Just, just, they just run through women. She asked him, and he must have been like you. He might have been scared of her. She went to the jungle by herself and said, Can I please have my girls back? He looked at her and said, You know, I'm going to give them back to you. And he must have said, Who in the world go up against me? And you don't walk to the jungle with animals and snakes and everything else. I'm scared of you. Are you one of the girls? Come on. Come on. Don't 60 minutes. That's right. Can I get my girls back? A multitude. This is our culture. Amen. We come to bust stuff up. That's why you gotta have a man of God. You can't nobody jealous of you. We come to bust stuff up. That's what they were doing. Although Paul didn't have Miss Paul, he had to have silence. Right. He's trying to raise up Miss Paul. Read. And the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. Now, 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 verse 18 is the reason why he gets beat in verse, or they get beat in verse 22. Right. And Silas gets beat with him, he ain't said nothing. Right. All right. Read. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, Charging the jailer to keep them safe. They got beat with rods. Now the Jews had a custom that they only gave you 39 strikes. The Romans had no such law. They just kept beating you. Okay? Now you understand why when it comes to the name of Jesus, he ain't changing no principle for nobody. Because exactly. the Bible said men have hazarded their lives for this. That's right. Amen. That's right. You ain't getting God to change his mind and sign off on charismatic right. or anything else. Right. If they don't have no upper room, they ain't filled with the Holy Ghost, they ain't filled with God. You ain't going to get men got beat up for telling the truth. That's right. Amen. Let somebody slip with a brand and multiple screens up there. Amen. And smoke machines and beach ball. God can care less. Amen. <laughs> oh my God. He can care less. 
feet of these men got beat down for the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. That's why I'm always telling Davion, who's a superstar. Amen. Got a concert. He graduates next year with Davion's wife. Davion, enjoy it. Because you're going, you're going to make a choice between the name of Jesus and fame. Amen. I already had a conversation with him. Okay? He is, he is a superstar. But all that came from God. Yes. Amen. I thank God. I think he got the right wife. Amen. Amen. Who he has learned to respect for her spirit of discernment. Amen. Oh, yeah. He went to some church. He said, uh uh, uh uh. That ain't, see, she's going to teach you. That ain't running the show. He no. just crazy. You know, most get to be like He just, he did a record church. One time they, they, they end up, the pastor put him in charge. He had them all on the altar, and the pastor came back and rebuked him. Mm -hmm. That boy bad, y'all. Right. That boy, man, it, 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 and, and yet God sent him to that pastor, amen, to help him, and the pastor got jealous of his help. That's right. And they remember that? They're going to wreck the place. Yes, it is. Yeah, he shut everything down. Just like I told you he was going to be a bad boy. Everybody was on the altar, whatever. And when the pastor came back and saw people that he thought was, they were just religious people. But this boy, this, this, this young minister, he got jealous. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's one thing about Lexi, but she's nice, got that little cackle, but get serious. Let her get serious. Yes, don't you. mess with her. Don't Man, play get with serious. her. Yes. She's like, uh-uh. You're right. Uh -uh. They try to use you. Right. That's a man. That's a young woman, too. Don't yeah. get mad. Amen. They ain't like, don't get off. Let's see where we can go. Nah. 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 You ain't using my husband. Nah. We ain't leaving the name of Jesus. Nah. Amen. So he said it last time he's here. I thank God for her spirit of discernment. He said, yes. honey, do you like the church? Right. <laughs> See, he can go anywhere. He, man, that boy can see a shut up place down. <laughs> and that's what a lot of people want. They want to shop. They don't want to live right. <laughs> it's easier okay. to shout than to be obedient. That's right. That's right. That's why they, that's why they got 12 songs and smoke machines right. and all that. Amen. And eight <laughs> days this and 12 days this and 13 days and 14 days of Christmas and, and 98 days. Amen. <laughs> when all Jesus said was go into Jerusalem and stay there for wait, 10 days. Wait. Yes, sir. Made it. Nobody wants to sit and wait till you be in due with power. Amen. I got a bad attitude this Sunday. I'll come to my campaign. The Lord gonna meet us there. Lord, oh, we gonna meet you. We, we gonna be flying in. So now you see the Lord catching an Uber. Ask him where the revival's at. Come and get healed. It's going to be a miracle. How you know? Right. <laughs> Hold on, I ain't sick. <laughs> then they showed us one dude, told you how to get your base. They got a place for you. Now if you fall out on your own, it's either to make sure you didn't fall out because you didn't eat. Other than that, you get your base right. So they showed this one little dude, he had his base right, here come the evangelist. And he, he really had to, uh, see the dude should have made weather and said, huh, what? <laughs> and the little sissy fight dude, we look, Michael Jackson's pants all jacked up like this. And, he got on more glitter than some of y'all. He's waving everybody passing out. He could have been funky. I can understand that. He waving. <laughs> it was a smell. See, I wish I'd have been. I said, first get the dude out your butt. <laughs> first thing I said, get the dude out your butt. <laughs> start there before you wave. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Back to the Bible. That's uh, right. There's something passing out. 
and he getting the root. Ridden like a horse, but he gonna come to church every day. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna pass. He gonna wave and pass. Oh, <laughs> Brandon, he just come off an of old town road, and he gonna, he gonna, he gonna wave and folk pass. Find a him and those fans, break those fans down. Well, <laughs> no, can he model for Kenny's girl? No, he can't. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa ain't having that. Back to the Bible. That's just a little thing. All right. Back to the verse, verse, verse. I wish Tamika had been there. She'd have went over that evil prayer on that dude. And man, he'd have got it right. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> that dude got right. I bet she ain't gonna fall. <laughs> I bet Tamika ain't gonna fall. Ain't no way. And you have on high heels and be like, I ain't going nowhere. Right. <laughs> Take this heel off and beat that spirit off of you. <laughs> In the name of Lewiston. <laughs> Be it off of you. Alright, back to the Bible. Alright. Uh, so they beat him in verse 23. Mm -hmm. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Verse 24. Who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison. And the made mm -hmm. Read. and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight. Oh, so oh, oh, so ain't gonna be no shout, ain't no buck shot. Man, somebody put on Facebook. <laughs> My wife could end up watching that off the ghetto fight. Well, you know. Well, so so I'm gonna get the I can't do I don't pull nothing. Yeah. Get the little choreo. Right, right, right. I can't but if I, if I pull something, I'm so one dude was on the altar with his knees. <laughs> right. He's getting on his knees. Right. <laughs> <laughs> on his knees, y'all. Right, right. He was on his knees. <laughs> so you had one. Right. Do it. Don't do it. And then, then, then when you're about to close, you get the last little buck. Yeah. Which means you finish. Right. Are you tired? Uh, but the other dude's on his knees, he's... The league would have messed that up, you know. <laughs> All that clown, you know, spirits. Clown, yeah. Spirits. Yeah. I said... That when she got the Holy Ghost, she got the Holy Ghost in Bible class. Yes, she did. Sitting in that chair. Yes, she Amen. Did. Yes, she Her did. Off the Word of God. Yes, she get happy off the Word. <laughs> not, that, not that music is not important. But the, how many see people jump and shout after the, after the music? Are they supposed to be easy? Right. <laughs> yep. They just wanted to dance. That's right. And they ain't mad because when I first got to church, I did the picture. I didn't know how to do their dance. I did the one I knew. The one on his knees, you know what he been doing. <laughs> I didn't know how to do what they did. <laughs> I said, <laughs> uh, I'm still here. I don't know if they still are. Right. I learned it wasn't proper later on. <laughs> Come on, Karen, come back, Karen. So, 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 so ain't no buck shot in this dungeon. Your feet get clapped. I can see him scoop with those. <laughs> yeah. But something happened, y'all, verse 25. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And, and at, what? And at midnight. At midnight. Paul and Silas prayed. And sang praises unto God. Notice, Simon didn't say, man, Paul, man, why you be that help alone, man? We was about to leave town. You, you rebuked her, look where we at. 
Let me leave that half alone. Now, I'm here because of you. No, they got to praising God at midnight. They met God at the second watch. Yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the second watch, man, somebody here, amen. Let's say you keep messing with your heart. Set your clock at 12. You know, I don't care how bad a day it was. At midnight, the second watch, I'm going to bust out of this with praise and adoration and thanksgiving. Here's one for you, Jay. Me and Jay, we close. We tighter than two toes in a sock. Amen. He set that clock, and I'm gonna praise God. Amen. And my husband have multiple sales and closing. Amen. I'm just gonna set the clock and put. And Lord, while you're blessing him, bless Shelly B. Amen. Lord, let them both be multi-million dollar sellers by the end of October, Lord. Lord, I'm here to praise and you trying to mess. That's for that devil messing with his income. That's that $80,000 that they took from my husband. He's going to get it back in one sale in the name of Jesus. Woo! Yes, sir. Remember that 80000 they took? Yes. You're about to get it back. Amen. Set that clock at midnight. Any sacks from no saint? Only when you take any sacks from a saint, if they really ain't a saint, they're still in tires and all. That's, that, ain't, that ain't the devil, that's God. Like, I'm getting my money. Right. But that ain't the case. No. Huh. 80 sacks. Gonna come back in one sale. doing everything in your life. So I asked God for something. So I went over. So remember what I because this, this is my blessed week. This is the week 19 years ago I blessed that man. Scared as I can be. Get my eight thousand dollar car. Most this car I had my around here was a bike for you. It was an 80 or 70 something. Anyway, in 2000, I'm scared. Even Mr. Rose said, you, you run. You know if I buy this car, it's on you. Buy it. This little raggedy girl from one drive. You got a little dusty behind. No, no, no. Go get your car. Go get your butt in that car. Go ahead, six miles on. I'm going to the car. Oh, no, I live right over there. I wish I'd get the car myself. I'm scared of it. To bless someone. Then act like it don't happen. You know, everybody think oh, he's still talking about it. Yeah, I'm still talking about it. And got the evidence for it. That's right. Amen. I got the evidence for it. Amen. Huh? Well, I'm scared. Okay. So I asked him, I said, well, this, this is my blessed week. He said, the problem with what you asked me for, they don't get mad. He said it was too low. I said, I couldn't answer that. You need to double what you have so far. That happened today. You said it's too long. I couldn't hear that. Can I, can I mess with y'all? Go for it. That, that, that would have embarrassed me. When you, when, you, when you take those leaps of faith, when it's so easy to moonwalk, and look, I'm trying to take 30,000 on this man. Ain't going to give him a worse job than the one he already cleared up. Man. Because if, if you don't know who you are and what you mean to God, Satan ain't going to tell you. 
Write right that down. If you don't know who you are and what you need to got, don't look for Satan to tell you. He ain't never gonna tell you. If you don't have faith, yeah, you stuck. Okay? You stuck. Just tell the truth. If people get stuck, I'm like the Lord. It wasn't the Lord. It wasn't the Lord. You'll find out when you make it and you see the life you could have had, but that's fear. Okay? So something God gonna bless because when you're trying to walk by faith and it's public, people hear, know what happened. What, That's why a, a lot of male men, they know they got scared men. They never think that they came maybe one time when we first got here. Because one of them was losing his Because they remember, they were all waiting on retirement, and most people that retire in the post office died within five years. Because I mean that job, it looks that walking up and down house and all that, that is no joke. On your kidneys, on everything. Right. So they remember when I left. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't believe it. Even the man who was a saved man, Elder Matthews, he was my father, told me to take a leap for accent. Remember the mess I told you, Bishop Reed was preaching, it was me, Elder Hanley, and Elder Garrett. And the message wasn't even, and I was just starting out. And the message was for them. Because Elder Garrett worked for Campbell's Soup, Elder Hanley worked for the phone company, and I was a male man, and, and man, he was trying to bring a word for them to go full time. Guess who took the word? Y'all yeah. looking at it. Amen. He, he said that was word what you were just getting started. But look, that was word for them. I took that since they didn't have faith. I took their word, in, and the rest is history. Okay. Amen. So now does that make sense? When I asked God for something, he said, that's too low. I'm going to bless you for what you endure. Come on now. I'm going to bless you for Thank every you, man, every slide, every lie told, every work, every work. until your crowd was gone to bless you. Amen. Amen. That's biblical. That's getting it. I'll purposely wait until it got down to the people that believe God. And guess what? I'm going to bless them too. Amen. Yeah. It's already happening. It is. He held up Shelly Bean so Brian can they can get it the same month. Amen. Huh? Kept her encouraged for seven years so that Brian, six years so that Brian and her can get done the same. Why? I'm the mouth of two or three witnesses. Let every word be scaring. Amen. Wealth is in the house. Ownership is in the house. The remnant's going to be good. We're talking about the word of God. We're talking about praising God in the midnight hour. Amen. We're talking about night visual. As verb Layla. Amen. We're going to focus, focus. Hold up somebody. We got my fight faithful, living right. Just so the other witness. He stays at Walmart, he messes up the plan of God. Yeah. That's right. He leave Walmart on Monday, take the test on Friday. <laughs> Amen. God said, now Lord have mercy. You're gonna get blessed with. Come on now. Amen. Why? Because let us magnify. Take somebody else to magnify. Lord, Lord, come on. Amen. Let us magnify. magnify. Yes, sir. Let us. Woo. You might have to come by and grab somebody. Amen. Woo. Oh, come on. Somebody heard a word. Let us magnify. Amen. God sent you back. Let us magnify. 
of the Lord together. God is the giver of our children.
to an earthquake. Every head bow. Ah, ain't nothing else to say. Father, in the name of Jesus. Pray, KT. Woo! I'll pick this up later. That's it. That's why Satan wants you to stay home.